My name is Vince and I'm a computer vision scientist here at ByteDance. My background, um, I studied machine learning and information engineering at Cambridge and that ties in quite perfectly with what I do here. So my team does research and development to build the machine learning capabilities in visual, audio and language understanding to ensure a safe user experience. Uh, in simple terms, what we do is we build models to automatically identify the kind of content that violate our community guidelines. For example, self-harm content. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Boon and I'm part of the mobile engineering team at ByteDance, specializing in direct messaging for the TikTok product. I started working uh, right out of high school in the fields of game development. As mobile applications started to gain popularity, I became interested in other platforms and eventually landed a position on the mobile engineering team at ByteDance. Our team focuses on improving the user experiences on mobile devices and we work closely with different teams like product management, UX, QA, to meet trust and safety standards and compliance. We focus on implementing products, updates, and ensuring stability when developing new technologies. A typical day would include a team stand up to update each other about our work, followed by my own work planning and formulating strategies to improve certain tech without impacting end users. Creating best practices and ensuring, ensuring sustainability brings me the most satisfaction in my work. From the beginning, uh, the intricate details behind the app and the opportunity to learn from professionals in the field were already very attractive to me. After joining, getting first-hand knowledge of the products and learning how professional these apps are, I was even more excited. I'm sure Vince will have a very different day than mine, right? Well, uh, it's, it's got its differences, but there are actually a lot of similarities to what shared. Um, just like you, I was attracted to ByteDance as it's the industry leader also in applied machine learning. And, and I think that's very big really, you know, the chance to work daily with world-class scientists and engineers. Um, as for my daily routine, uh, that's quite varied, but it usually starts with taking a look at the kind of experiments that have finished overnight, figuring out the implications of this, and thinking about how to translate these into performance improvements for our system. As for me, the biggest satisfaction is seeing the, the bike dance metaphorical flywheel accelerate over time as we accrue improvements to our models, our processes, our platforms. Um, finally, oh yeah, what, what drives my team daily? I would say it's that we really feel the impact that we bring and also the value that we add to the user's experience. For us, it's actually quite straightforward. Uh, we share the goals of our downstream team. So success for us means safety being achieved across the various bike dance products. And so it really is never an individual success. It really always is a team success because of how closely coupled we are with our business line. And I think that the great thing about being so involved with both our upstream and downstream teams is that this means we, we get a great deal of space to take initiative in proposing new ideas and new features. Uh, to echo and add on to what Vince had shared, team success is most closely measured by happy end users and stakeholders, backed by data that help indicate the quality of the releases. On a more individual level, it is aimed at creating sustainability in development and making sure there is a balance between work and your own health. Work-life balance is important for engineer as, you know, development is a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. Do make sure that you continue to grow in knowledge within your own scope or even challenge yourself at times to grow in the breadth of your coverage. At ByteDance, you are your own limit. When I first joined ByteDance, I was being assigned a mentor on day one. Uh, the mentor helped get me on my feet and was there to share with me the processes and lay the land. So I was able to hit the ground running in no time. Yeah. After some time uh, and with new members joining the team, mentees will become mentors and directly impact those around you. Individuals really get to steer the direction he or she would like to grow professionally here at ByteDance and self-learning opportunities are everywhere. Yeah. Another formal avenue for learning that I think we should mention, which are the global meetings. So new ideas, new findings, they are propagated across a really large audience. And certainly, we don't want to discount the informer. Uh, a great deal of unexpectedly impactful collaborations that I've had start from the water cooler bouncing of ideas off of each other. And um, 
One very interesting thing to me, I think, is the ByteDance culture of collaborating through documentation. Yeah. So what you write, share, and collaborate on across the globe using our internal tools. And when someone somewhere else messages you about something you wrote, you really get reminded that your work contributes to a much bigger team and a much bigger purpose. We are hiring machine learning scientists, we are hiring machine learning engineers, software engineers. In terms of the skill sets, we are looking for past technical experiences. So if you're a fresh graduate, this means competitions, projects, stuff like that. Um, for experienced hires, we're talking about previous professional experiences. We also definitely give extra plus points to candidates who can show us the can-do spirit because being able to get things done is number one to us right now. And finally, we value the ability to observe a phenomenon and to think logically and critically about what it means for the, what we care about, yeah. For the mobile engineering team, we are currently looking for Android, iOS, and back-end software engineers. Qualities we look for in candidates include the ability to break down a problem and come up with actionable steps, as well as strong communication skills with stakeholders. Be, be sure to keep in mind best practices and to consider scalability as well. In my opinion, the most important qualities for a byte answer to have are flexibility and adaptability. Byte dance is always changing and trying to find better ways to improve processes, hence it is just as important to approach problems with an analytic mindset as it is to keep an open mind to changes and suggestions. For all the audience that is watching right now, uh, I really encourage you to try. Yeah, so aim for the highest, man. Just give it a try, give it a go. We really hope to see some of you soon at Byte dance.